in the day really pissed me off one night. So one night I had this party and I got turned and called the office, my management office, and turned me in. So I was really pissed. So that night we were doing this big show somewhere in LA, I think of the town. And he goes, oh, don't forget, man, introduce me, Dr. Kildrums, right? I'm like, yeah, all yeah, right. So we go and he starts doing his drum solo and he had the three bass drums. And it, it was it sucked because the places we were playing weren't big enough for that drum set. So I was always fucked having a stand with like, you know, two inches worth of space. So one time I got pissed, so he's, he's doing the drum solo. And the third bass drum was over here and I had to go to the bathroom. And I'm like, fuck this. So I just walked over and I zipped down and whipped out my gecko and, <laughs> and went pissed in his bass drum. He didn't see, he was playing the drum solo. The, the drum tech is like, <laughs> and I'm looking, I'm going, But he caught me at the very end. He was doing this roll around and come and he saw me. I was like, I just put back in. He was like, I'll never speak to you ever again. And I was like, Good. You're fucking motherfucker. Because he got me in trouble. But he was like, So, and then he had to, like, they had to clear out the bass drum, right? No one was like, they were drawing straws to see who was going to do it. He was like, Well, I'm not doing it. And then, fuck you. That was a true story. He hated me for like four months. He wouldn't talk to me. He would just be like, so that, uh, what I did to get even was every night I introduced him with a different name. I never introduced him as Dr. Kilgrims. I would say like Dr. Bobo, or Dr. Franticles, or Dr. Psychonicles, or Dr. Adolf Von Vockels, or it just had Dr. Statutory Rape, Dr. Anything I could think of. And he would get, he would get, oh, Lee, well, I'm never gonna do it anywhere. And I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> But I made up you now, you know, we're, we're, we're really cool now and stuff. So I told him I was going to throw him under the bus on this, and he was like, well, just don't tell him about you pissing on the drum. <laughs> I'm sorry, but... <laughs>